story is a story uh, to make a change from the um, the rainforest of South America. This story is called Mama Meeting. It's a story from Africa. One woman, one seed, one hope for the future. Thaya Niumba, peace my people. Wangari grew up in the shadow of Mount Kenya, listening to the stories about the people and land around her. Though the trees towered over her, she had loved them for as long as she could remember. So strong, so beautiful, how the trees made her smile. Wangari planted trees one by one to refresh her spirit. When the women came to her for help with their family, she told them to do the same. Soon the countryside was filled with trees. Kenya was strong once more. Wangari had changed her country tree by tree. Donna Jo Nap Napoli tells a story inspired by the life of 2004 Nobel Prize Peace recipient Wangari Maathai that will touch the hearts and spirits of all who read it. And Kadir Nelson's stunning collage illustrations honour the spirit of a land and of the woman who saved it. So that tells you a bit about the story. So it is written by Donna Joan Napoli and it's illustrated by Kadir Nelson. On the highlands of Africa, near forests and plains and a, and a huge salt lick, Wangari was born. The face of Mount Kenya smiled down on her. People told stories of how in the old days, sometimes the sun shone too bright, too long, and droughts came. Creatures suffered, plants wilted, people fought. So the men held ceremonies under the Mugumo, the spreading sacred fig tree. And the skies blessed them with shimmering rains to slake their thirst and water their farms. Village elders placed staffs from the figi tree between angry men and enemies became friends. Wangari listened to these stories. That's how she came to love and respect trees. That's how she came to be wise in the tradition of her family and village, of her country and continent. When Wangari grew up, she worked in the city, but she always remembered her roots. She planted trees in her backyard and sat under them to refresh her body and spirit. One day a poor woman came from the Western Valley to see the wise Wangari. Her children peeked out from behind her at the smiling woman in bright blue cloth with squiggles all through it, like tadpoles squirming in a pool. I have too little food to feed for my family, said the poor woman. There is no longer a job for me in the timber mill and I have no other skills. What can I do? Wangari took the woman's hands and turned them over. She took the children's hands one by one. These are strong hands. Here are seedlings of the Mubiru Miru tree. Plant them, plant as many as you can. Eat the berries. Thayeniumba, peace my people. The woman and her children returned home and planted trees with their strong hands. One by one in the years to come, when flowering season was over, the family ate the shiny round fruits. They shared with their neighbours who carried home the seeds, planted them and grew their own Mubiru Mura trees. Another woman came to the wise Wangari, as poor as the first. This one travelled from the mountain in the south. Her daughter stood beside her, thin as ropes. My daughters and I walk hours every day to find firewood to cook with, said the poor woman. It takes so long, we have no time for anything else. What can I do? Wangari took the woman by the arms. These arms are strong, she said. Plant a tree. Here are seedlings of the Mukunduri. This tree makes good firewood. Plant as many as you can. Thayan Nayumba. Peace, my people. The woman and her daughters planted those seedlings. In time, the trees grew huge with many wide branches. The woman and her daughters cut branches for warmth. They shared new seedlings with their neighbours who carried them home and grew their own Mukindori trees. Word passed from woman to woman until all over Kenya, women knew about the wise Wangari. They came to her from every direction, one after another, 
as the years went by. Our goats are starving, said a woman from near the northern desert. I have barely enough food to feed my family. How can my husband feed the animals too? Plant a tree, Amuragendi. The leaves are good animal fodder. Plant as many as you can. Diana Yumba. Peace, my people. My cows are sick, said another woman from the savannah. I have no money to buy medicine for them. Plant a tree. Amuthkwa wa afi. The leaves cure gall sickness in cattle. Diana Yumba. Peace, my people. Wild animals came in the night and steal my chicken, said a woman from a fishing village. She took her head, she shook her head in worry. Plant a tree, a mukawa, its thorns will keep out predators. Thayana Yumba, peace my people. My home fell apart, came the cry of another woman, who had come all the way from the coast. We have no shelter. Plant a tree, a muluhakua, the timber makes good building poles. Thaya Nayumba, peace my people. Hungari told women to plant Muringona, whose branches make good stakes for training yam vines. She told them to plant Muhuti as a living fence around their animal yards. She told them to plant Mugoya, whose leaves could be wrapped around bananas to ripen them. She told them to plant Moringa for the pure joy of their white flowers. When a woman from her own village came, lamenting that the water in her stream was too dirty to drink, Wangari told her to plant Mukuya, the giant sacred fig, the drinker of water, which acts as nature's filter to clean streams. Thayana Yumba, peace my people. Soon cool, clear waters teemed with black wriggling tadpoles, like the ones on Wangari's clothes. Like the ones Wangari marvelled at in the waters when she was small. When Kenya was covered with trees and animals, when people lived in peace with nature. All over the countryside, the trees that had disappeared came back. Nairobi, the capital city, had been known as Kinuini, the place where there are many manure trees. Now it was Kinuini again. Kenya was strong once more, strong and peaceful. There's a lovely picture of many people looking happy. Wangari changed a country tree by tree. She taught her people the ancient wisdom of peace with nature. And now she is teaching the rest of the world. She is known these days as Mama Miti, the mother of trees. A green belt of peace started with one good woman offering something we can all do. Plant a tree. Thayana Yumba, peace my people. Now this book is obviously very important, not just for Kenya, but in this country we've been encouraged to plant a tree as well. I don't know if any of you watch, any of your parents watch Country File, but quite recently they were encouraging us all to plant trees because they're beneficial for everybody, beneficial for the soil, for invertebrates, animals, plants, oxygen, cleaning the air. It served a fantastic purpose. That, I thought, is a very beautiful story from Kenya.